mountain ranges comprise a monument from the base of the mountains to the top of the ridge lines. And right now we're conserving 272,000 acres of land. So it's quite a bit. Um, if you didn't know about it, it's a good time right now to go out and explore. Maybe not the summertime, maybe fall. Um, but later on, like I said, there's a lot of things in this monument. We're preserving a lot of animals, flora and fauna. We do have a number of endangered species. Um, big one cheap, I'm sure everybody's familiar with. And that's kind of one of our icons that we have in our monument logo. Um, we also have cultural history. This is where these mountain ranges, the Kuya Indians, lived. And they lived off the land, moving like snowbirds do, low desert during the winter and fall. During the summer, they'd move higher elevation in the mountains. Um, it was cooler, and they keep doing that throughout the years. We do find artifacts from time to time in the monument, um, pot shards, arrowheads, that they actually could be agaves in their agave pits. So we're finding stuff that's still very unexplored at the moment. So there's a lot to do with that. Um, so if you had a chance to look in the back of the maps, we just had a new trails map that came out. And we're very fortunate to have that. That's been years in progress getting that going. And that's covering um, something like 89 trails in the monument. And that's over 400 miles of trails. So if you like hiking, uh, getting out even horsebacking, mountain biking. It's a great opportunity to go out and explore. Um, you're going to drive through if you're not really for those kinds of outdoor recreation activities. The best way to check it out is driving through Highway 74. It's where you can stop and visit me at the Visitor Center and get a some information about what you can see while driving just that Highway 74 portion through the monument. Um, start with the slideshow. This is called a monument in your backyard. And the person that actually put it together, she's another ranger for the monument. Her name's Bonnie Atkins, and she couldn't do this today, so I'm filling in for her, um, covering the SWAT program sometimes. So hopefully I'll do as good of a job as she would normally. 